A friend of mine recently stayed in a hotel in Israel, Tel Aviv, and this is a really telling story in that it shows me and shows all of us how we can get customer loyalty without having to spend a single cent. Here's what happened. She checked into a hotel that she'd stayed at once before. And upon arrival, she received this beautiful letter from the hotel. Now I'm gonna pronounce the hotel name incorrectly, perhaps, so bear with me if I do. But let me read it to you. Dear Rina, welcome back to the Diaghilev. You're practically a local. We are delighted to have you with us again and appreciate your loyalty. Please keep in mind that we are here at your service for anything you may need. Wishing you a pleasant and exciting experience, the Diaghilev staff. Now, I don't know about you, but if I received that upon landing at a hotel in a foreign land, I'd be pretty stoked, I'd be pretty thrilled. As was she, in fact, she posted it online and all of those good things. But we hear about these stories and we think it's a little bit cliche, it's a little bit old fashioned. Well, you know what, old fashioned does work. It cost the hotel absolutely nothing. Well, it did cost them the price to print something off, but that's practically zero. Now you might think to yourself, well that's all well and good for a hotel, but that would never apply to my business. Well it can, it's pretty simple. Imagine you have a, um, imagine you have a restaurant, and you have these somewhat regulars who come along every now and then, and they make appointments. Now the first thing you do when someone makes an appointment is you ask them what time you'd like the table, how many people, that's the second thing. The third thing is, can I have your name, and the fourth thing is your phone number. It takes very little effort if your phone numbers are all stuck into a database somewhere in your business to bring up that name and see the last time they ordered, what they ordered, and when they arrive back, you might actually be able to say something like, hey, we noticed last time you came, you ordered the linguine or the whatever it was, would you like that again, or would you like this other dish which is very similar, but slightly different? You'd kind of be like, whoa, they really remember me or know what's going on? and you'd, you'd start to feel more at home at that restaurant. Once again, you don't have to spend money. It costs very little money to put phone numbers into a small database in your business. Now this can happen also at a bike store. Again, people collect phone numbers. They've got credit cards, they've got all sorts of information. You can collect anything here that can link you to a customer just to make them feel that little bit welcome. You don't have to go and do mass mail outs, you don't have to go and do email marketing or anything like that. When someone comes in, you can simply acknowledge them and acknowledge that previous stay. Now in the letter that Rena got, it didn't say anything fantastically different or weird. It wasn't even signed personally by anyone. It wasn't, it wasn't signed by hand, but it was a small token acknowledgement to say, hey, we remember you, love for you to stay and have a great exciting experience and she will and she remembers it and I'm sure she'll go back again. So look, customer loyalty doesn't have to be complicated. Most customer service isn't. The thing that's getting in your way is probably nothing more than a little bit of, can I say it, laziness. It takes a little bit of work up front and after that it's automatic. Trust me, your customers will love it. Get out of your own head, and get out of thinking that oh no one's going to want that or whatever reason. Just get it done. It's not much work and it costs you nothing.